tend to shift my skincare routines mostly based on the seasons because where I live, I really want to either capitalize on the humidity or deal with the lack thereof. I'd love to know if you change your skincare routine with the seasons or just the climate that you live in. I'd love to read about it below. I have combination skin that's sensitive prone and rosacea prone. It also leans dehydrated. So if you're not sure what your skin type is, I've recently done a video outlining skin types. I'll link it for you here. Of course, I always focus on products that help me to age as best I can. You can call it anti-aging, you can call it well-aging, you can call it whatever you want. I'm 47. I want to use the products that are going to give me the best results that I can achieve for my skin. So let's start this spring skincare routine with cleansing. Now, generally, I don't use very much in the morning for a cleanse. I sometimes only use water on my face, and if I'm not doing that, I'm using something like this. This is Garnier's Micellar Water. It's a cult favorite, the one with the pink top. It's meant for sensitive skin. I splash a little bit of this on my face, and I actually rinse it away with water. I know with Micellar Water, you don't actually need to rinse it away, but that's how I prefer to use it. Second step for me is toning, and toning the skin is a completely optional step but for me because my skin is dehydrated I like to capitalize on every opportunity I have to get hydration into my skin and one thing I love to do is follow three-step layer of toning so this is based on a Korean skincare philosophy called the seven skins method and basically to adopt that you simply apply a toner like this to your skin i apply it immediately after cleansing and let it sink into your skin while it's sinking in i typically brush my teeth or do something else and then as my skin dries i then add another layer of toner let it dry add another layer etc etc now because it's the morning and i don't have a lot of time i typically do this about three times the seven skin method as you can imagine is seven times you can do it up to 10 times i know some people do it 20 times i think that's a bit far-fetched for me this is one of my favorite toners to do that method with it's pyung kang yul's essence toner i've talked about this a lot on my channel it's just a really good hydrating basic toner that works really well for my rosacea skin after toning in any of my skincare routines, I always want to apply the product that I want to get the most out of in that routine. And in this case, it's a vitamin C serum. Because my skin is sensitive, I like to apply my vitamin C serums to dry skin. So I let that last layer of toner sink into the skin completely. This is one of my favorite vitamin C serums at the moment. It's kind of making the rounds on my socials. This is the C plus C serum from Stradia. Now I've been sponsored by them over on TikTok for their liquid gold. Let me grab it, this. Fabulous, if you haven't tried it already. They sent along this for me to try, and wow, was I ever impressed. It's a beautiful lightweight serum formulated in a water-free formula. It has 10% ascorbic acid plus a 5% ascorbic tetraisopalmitate, which is a vitamin C derivative, plus coenzyme Q10 for an additional antioxidant boost. Its formulation is glorious, easy to apply, and I see really good results from using it. Of course, using a vitamin C serum like this one in the morning gives you lots of antioxidant protection. It helps fight the signs of aging by inducing collagen production in the skin, but also brightening the skin and targeting some of the hyperpigmentation and dark spots that I have. Now, I really like to load up my antioxidants in the morning, and that's because I really like the power that they have to ward off environmental stressors, pollution, damage from the sun, all of it. This probably comes as no surprise to you, but I like to use Survival Zero as my be-all, end-all antioxidant serum. To be honest, I use this both morning and night. The power of antioxidants in the morning is to sort of ward off free radical damage that your skin is exposed to, but when you use them at night, they can really help to undo some of the damage that your skin has experienced throughout the day. And this one is just so freaking good. Did I even say what it was called? It's Survival Zero by Neod. This is under the Decium brand, sister company to The Ordinary, and it's just so loaded with antioxidants. It's a purchase I continue to make over and over again. Next up, I like to apply a niacinamide serum. I find niacinamide works really great on my skin. I have combination skin, so it's oily in my T-zone. I like to include products with niacinamide that help to control the oil production in my skin. Niacinamide also controls redness, great for my rosacea. It's great for anti-aging, targeting fine lines and wrinkles. It too will help to build collagen and elasticity in the skin. Gosh, it does a whole host of things that are beneficial for the skin. And the serum that I'm really loving 
loving as of late is this one by Beauty of Josen. I have yet to find a product by this brand that I don't like. This is their Propolis Plus Niacinamide Serum. Of course, Propolis is giving you great antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties with it. Combined with the niacinamide, it's just a beautiful serum to include morning or evening, but I really like it paired with my vitamin C. Now, there's been a lot of confusion about whether you can use niacinamide with vitamin C. And a lot of that confusion comes from an old study and old literature, which really showed that vitamin C and niacinamide did not work well together at very high temperatures. This has really been since disputed and most medical professionals now agree that pairing vitamin C and niacinamide is not only okay, it's beneficial. They actually bring out kind of the best in each other. Now, if you have really sensitive skin, you wanna be careful because they are two active ingredients and using them in the same routine may cause irritation. So you may wanna split them out. And because I'm a very seasoned vitamin C user and have incorporated niacinamide into my routine slowly over the years, it's no issue for me to have them both in the same routine. Next, I like to apply CauseRx Snail Mucin. I know not all of you are into the texture or feel of snail mucin, but it just undeniably works very well for my skin. It provides great moisture to my skin. And I think the properties about this in particular really help with my rosacea, especially when I'm having a flare up. Next up is a moisturizer. And since it's spring, I tend to typically move into more of a gel moisturizer in spring and definitely in summer, especially where I live. It's very humid in the summer, so I can get a lot of moisture in the air onto my skin. Spring, sometimes pushing it. We actually had snow here not that long ago. But a lightweight moisturizer I've been really loving lately is this one by the Yankee List. This is their Omega Water Cream, very lightweight formula. I think it would be ideal really for normal to oily prone skin and my combination skin fits very well into that sweet spot. Not to say it wouldn't work on dry skin, but I think if you had dry skin, you would want to use a moisturizer that has more ceramides in it. Actually, this is a great lightweight ceramide moisturizer that would be a great addition to a spring skincare routine for someone with dry skin. I'll always list all the products I'm talking about in the description box below. Finally, the last step for me is the most important one, the one that if I didn't do this, I may as well not do any of these other anti-aging steps in my skincare routine. And of course you guessed it, it's sunscreen. I choose to wear sunscreen every day, whether I'm inside all day, whether it's rainy, whether it's cloudy, because I know I'm going to be exposed to UVA and UVB damage. And the UVA rays are those ones that can cause premature aging in the skin. When I can find a sunscreen that I can apply very easily in my morning skincare routine is the last step and it's just effortless. It's one I'm going to stick with and this is one of those finds. I have been loving this sunscreen as of late. It's a Korean sunscreen that's by Round Lab. It's their Birch Juice Moisturizing Cream SPF 50 PA++++. It costs around $30. It just leaves the most beautiful finish on the skin. It is so effortless and lightweight to apply, beautiful texture upon application. It has a lot of hydrating ingredients in it. To be honest, if your skin's more prone to oiliness, then you could even use this as your moisturizer sunscreen all in one and skip the moisture step. It's also niacinamide and licorice root in here which will both help to brighten the skin as well. It has their signature birch sap in the formulation too. There's no surprise why this sunscreen is so popular in Korea right now. Comment below your thoughts and opinions and I hope you have a fabulous day.